Hi guys, so today I thought I'd talk about why I hate politics. So why do I hate politics? Well, for starters, it's probably the most negative topic of the 21st century that anybody could be talking about. It's the most negative, the most divisive, and the most toxic po uh, topic that anyone can talk about. Like, when was the last time you've ever opened social media or turned on the news and have heard anything positive? Like, our social media feeds, our Instagram, our Twitter, our Facebook, they're all slammed with Vladimir Putin this, Joe Biden that, Donald Trump this, Justin Trudeau that, uh, Israel Hamas war this. Now, that's not to say I have any disrespect towards any of these politicians or, you know, wars or movements or whatever. That's not to say that I'm not informed on them either. Actually, I'm too informed because that's all people post about nowadays. And that's why it drives me insane because that's all I see from a lot of people's accounts and I've unfollowed so many news outlets and people because of it. It's just constantly shoved in my face. Like, I know some accounts that are dedicated to posting pictures of like the Israel Hamas war, for example. Now that's, again, that's not to say I have any disrespect towards Israel or Palestine. And here's my thing, and this is my biggest thing. I'm informed about it, I know the gist of it, but I don't need to hear anything else and that's all I'm getting on social media. I'm tired of the people who tirelessly post about and the media that covers this tirelessly. These extremists and radical people that I see on social media are usually unfriendly, unhappy, and unapproachable. And they're also not very smart a lot of the time because they live and breathe politics. And they live and breathe politics so much to the point where like anyone that has an opposing belief or a belief that doesn't align with theirs, they just chastise the shit out of them. These people can't get along with anyone that has opposing beliefs and they, they don't have any respect for anyone else's opinions. They feel that their opinion is superior to everyone's and that it needs to be flaunted. And time and time again, I usually on social media and sometimes in real life, I see people arguing over different ideologies and different beliefs that everyone has. To all these people, I say, as someone who has never argued with anyone politically before, to all these people, I say, why? Why are you wasting your breath on uh, usually either someone you don't know, like you're, you're, just, you're just wasting your time arguing with someone you don't know, or someone you do know, even worse. You're wasting your time talking about nothing. You, you don't have to have the same opinions. I don't understand why you need to argue to prove who, like, who's more right. These political arguments solve nothing. Like, you don't change the mind of the other person. You don't improve your relationship with them. You, you, like, you're basically also making friends, like enemies out of friends. Sorry, you're making enemies out of friends doing this as well, I find. And you're just ruining your own day because I don't know about you, whenever I have a, a stupid argument with someone I know, my mood and my day is usually ruined for the most part. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. Cause I know a lot of people get into arguments all the time and don't care. That couldn't be me personally. And then my next biggest problem, and this ties in with all these radical extremists, is that they try to spread, like, again, not only are they just obnoxiously, like, posting all over the internet, but what they're doing is they're spreading their views to everyone. Namely children, even. They're indoctrinating our children as well. I have so many problems with these types of people because why do we need to know and why do kids need to know about a war that's happening in the world or a movement that's happening? Like, they indoctrinate six-year-olds now. When I was six years old, I was learning about addition and subtraction and whatnot. I wasn't learning about the issues that are happening in our world. We don't, they don't need to know that when they're that young, and I can't believe I even have to say this. I mean, it doesn't just stop at the six-year-olds. Like, I mean, I see cartoons putting in woke stuff for three-year-olds now to watch. And even when you're three years old, you're learning about the alphabet and toys and stuff like that. You do not need to know about the Pride Parade at the age of three. And I'll say it again so that I don't get canceled. I have nothing against the Pride Parade because, you know, you guys are just doing your own thing. I only have a problem when you try to indoctrinate our kids. These kids don't know about any of these movements and they don't care. Why should they? They're kids, not adults. They have more important things to learn about before they learn about any political issue of any kind. And it just makes me sad seeing that the free world, mainly Canada and the United States, is like this because even in the free world, if you go to more conservative, not politically conservative, socially conservative, countries like Japan and South Korea, are they all politically informed at the very least? Yes, they are. But do politics make up their life? No, they don't. I don't, like when I was in Japan and South Korea, I don't see people talking about politics. 
and when they do, it's moderate at best. And I, I, I've, say this, I've said this before, I say this again to many people that is it okay to be moderately invested into politics? Yeah. Is it okay to at least be informed on some issues? Yeah. It's okay to be, like just like everything in life, moderation, moderation is what you need. It's okay to at least be informed, but when you take it to the extremes and try to spread it towards everyone, that's when it's a problem. Like me personally, have I voted before? Yes. Do I talk about politics? Occasionally, with my friends sometimes. And even with my friends that have opposing views. Sometimes we actually talk about it. It's a friendly debate or a friendly conversation and we're still friends. We don't let it divide us, unlike these idiots that we see. And then again, back to the whole free world concept, not concept, the whole free world discussion. These people that live in the free world, they, the ones that flaunt their views and Sorry, the extremists, is what I'm trying to say. The extremists. If they went to a country that didn't have the freedom of speech that we have in North America, like, like Saudi Arabia and Iran, for example, they oppress LGBTQ people. If these LGBTQ people, the, the, the radical ones, express their rights in those countries, they even lift a finger, they, they get arrested or even killed. They don't have those rights in those countries. So just be grateful that you can even be the obnoxious people that you are. Because if you were obnoxious in those countries, they don't have any mercy. And honestly, that's all I have to say. I'm just going to end on this note. If you are not very politically informed and you don't really know that much about politics and your life is just fine, keep it that way. If you don't care to learn about politics, then don't. If you want to like moderately immerse yourself and learn about some topics, then that's fine. Just don't become an extremist and try to spread your views to everyone. Don't be toxic. That's all it is. Just be happy and be normal. That's, that's really all it is. And that's it. Hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you next time.